Hey everybody, and welcome back in. My name is Guy. I'm gonna be with you for the next two hours. We've got our uh, kitchen show coming up first, and then a little later, we're gonna get into some tech talk. We got a great computer, but I wanted to mention something that's in this hour that's coming up a little bit later, because I think it's the time. It's getting warm out everywhere, and uh, it's time to make some ice, right? You know, you can't always count on your machine indoors to always have ice for you, but you can always count on the improvements. Compact stainless steel ice maker. So this is gonna make 26 pounds a day. That's a lot of ice. You go to the store, you buy a 10 ba pound bag of ice, right? Well, this is two and a half, more than that, uh, bags of ice every single day. In fact, it starts making ice the minute you turn it on. It takes about seven minutes to get your first tray of cubes, and there's no trays to deal with, right? It just makes the ice, it fills the container. It'll hold a couple of pounds of ice inside. I've got colors available, a red, this is called black, even though it's kind of like a dark stainless. This is black, and then it also comes in stainless. You get a scoop, all you gotta do is add water. Seven minutes later, you're making ice. That's coming up a little bit later, 606-780, if you wanna order that now. Come on over, we'll get started. We got lots of cool things coming up in the show today. Uh, a lot of you are uh, looking forward to summer. It'll be here before you know it. And uh, you're gonna start making your salads and your sub sandwiches and all that stuff. And you're gonna need to prep. Um, I will tell you, after uh, 18, 19 years in the restaurant business, using a knife is not always the easiest thing for everybody out there. But if you own the uh, mandolin slicer, it's a piece of cake. Why? It's consistent. You take the food and you bring it to the blade, not the other way around. Normally with a knife, you take the blade and you bring it to the food. Well, you put load the food up in the, uh, in the food holder and you just slide it by, back and forth. Boom, 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 and you are slicing tomatoes, you're slicing onions, peppers, whatever it is you need to slice for your sandwiches and for your salads, you're, it's great. You can adjust the thickness, so if you like them paper thin, uh, which a lot of people like, or if you like, uh, you know, like coleslaw and things like that, but if you wanna do it thicker for tomatoes, you can do that as well. Um, the item number on this and the price are, well, I'll give you the item number in a sec, there it is, 66134. 354, 2495 is a steal. You'd pay that for just one single knife and you're getting all kinds of different knives in this because you can adjust them. Um, I've got colors to choose from and then we'll get John Florell in on Skype and he can show you how to use it. So this is teal, this is plum. I have it in black and I have it in blue. Nice thing is the cleanup is easy too. Just rinse it off and put it back on the shelf. All you need to do, John Florell, who does the most amazing demonstrations you've ever seen, uh, is standing by. He's got his mandolin ready. Hey, John, welcome to our show. Guy, it's good to see you, buddy. You too, buddy. <laughs> you know, a mandolin is, has been for years and years a staple of every professional chef. And the reason is that it does things so precise and quick. And what Kitchen HQ has done is come up with a mandolin that's all in one. So there's no parts or pieces to, uh, to lose in a drawer, no blades, no, you know, you don't have to change anything out. It's all done right here on these knobs. Now, the way it works, you take a potato, a tomato, an onion, whatever you wish, uh, you start at the top of the machine like this, you slide it down to the table, down to the end of the machine, back up to the top, down to the table. So it's basically moving it across that razor sharp blade. And what's great about the HQ mandolin is when you get close to your fingers, it's not like those, well here, I've got one right here. Not like one of these old four-sided tin can knuckle busters where when you get close to your fingers, if you don't stop, you take off a half of a nail or part of a knuckle. <laughs> you never have to worry about your fingers with this because we give you this safety holder. Now it also has a guide that fits over the machine like this. So now you just put your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese inside the guide. The safety holder has three stainless steel prongs that hold onto the food for you, okay? So now there's a button on top that you push down as you're sliding it back and forth across that blade. And guy, this way you'll never waste anything and you can't cut yourself. You get perfect uniform slices. Now I slice that potato thin like this for scallop potatoes or potatoes of gratin. Maybe you wanna make homemade potato chips, but it's totally adjustable. So if I wanted to make a thicker slice, all I do is turn this knob on the side of the machine. This knob has 10 different slicing thicknesses from thick all the way up to thin. In fact, here's the thickest slice and I'll show you on a tomato because Everybody has a hard time slicing with a knife, but with this machine, even a red ripe juicy tomato, it takes it right down to the very last slice. And I want you to see these. 
they come out perfect for backyard barbecued hamburgers, uh, for salads, or maybe it's even for a, a, a hero. But the difference with this machine, it's so adjustable, you can literally do everything but the cooking. If you want to slice onions, look at this. You put it in the safety holder, and you can slice onions for uh, you know, bread and butter pickles, cucumber and onion salad, saute peppers and onions. You can saute peppers and onions, steak and onion, liver and onion, potatoes and onion. Hey, for thin sliced onions for heroes and hamburgers, and you don't waste anything. But the best part, guy, everything is done so fast. Look at this you don't even have time to cry. And those are paper thin slices. All, the, all of them come out perfect. How about this? Mentioning bread and butter pickles. Cucumbers for cucumber and onion salad. You'll nickel down carrots for canning. You'll slice beets for pickling. Hey, I'll tell you what, cucumbers are cheap in the summertime. You know, like right now, they're like four for a dollar. But when the wintertime, when they go up to a buck a piece, you can make one cucumber last all winter. I mean, <laughs> on paper thin slices. Wow. And look at this. It, hey, by the way, the kids love these. Look, they stick right to the fridge. Walls, windows, <laughs> cabinet. Doors. I job. mean, it takes something That's thin. And I'm Teach talking your kids to paper, do that. Paper, paper thin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you now, want them, I, I've got four colors to choose from. Kyle, which is the one that will sell out first? You just, blue. All right. So blue, I, I, I think I've only got about 10 dozen left in the blue. This is black, this is plum, and this is teal. We've kind of laid some out to show you some different things. And John has really just covered part of it. He's going to get to the other parts in a sec where you can actually do things like french fries. You can chop. We just told you slicing, but this blade has a couple of other uh, tricks up its sleeve that allows you to do fine chopping as well. And you know, John, I've said, and you know this as well, it's, you know, get, it takes years to get really good with a knife. It takes seconds oh, yeah. to get great with a, with a mandolin. I mean, it's that easy to use, John. It's so simple. And you know what I love about this too, Guy, is that it fits in a bowl, okay? It sets on your countertop or tabletop. It's got the fold-up legs, so it goes right in your drawer. It doesn't take up any room in the kitchen. And you can put it across the bowl, you can put it in a bowl, or you can do like what I'm doing. And by the way, mandolins are not new. Okay, these have been around for over 200 years, and they were originally designed in Germany as a cabbage board for making sauerkraut. I'll tell you what, with iceberg lettuce on taco night, you can, you'll love it. For cabbage, coleslaw, hot slaw, pepper slaw, chow chow. I mean, it's like a lawnmower going wild in a cabbage patch. I mean, <laughs> look at that. You can make coleslaw long and stringy in seconds, but watch the difference now. I'm gonna show you, you mentioned too, the dicing. There's another knob on the machine. Uh, this is where Kitchen HQ really shines. Look at this, they made it so simple. You have small teeth that pop up. I don't know if you can see that row of teeth right here. Watch this, I'm gonna turn it to the larger teeth. So if you want big dice, little dice, or if you want to mince, look at this, you can take that same head of cabbage, now you'll mince your cabbage for deli-style coleslaw with no lumps, humps, or bumps. In fact, any vegetable that grows in layers, you can mince with this machine. I mean, look at that perfect, perfectly chopped cabbage coleslaw, and you can make it even finer than that just by adjusting the slice on the machine. So there's actually 12 different ways just to cut cabbage, but watch this because I think you're gonna love it just for this one single job, mincing onions. Hey, I, I look at it like this. For, for What is it like $2.50 a finger today, okay? <laughs> to get this machine home. If this is all you use it for, it's worth two bucks and 50 cents a finger just for the way it minces onions. Perfect wow. for tuna fish or chicken salad, for homemade meatloaf on taco night. Now, anything solid, oh, and by the way, guy, there's 26 different ways to cut celery on this machine. And we all know with a knife, it's not necessarily the easiest job in the, to do in the kitchen, okay? Watch this. You can take the whole stock or the whole bunch, brush it through those blades. You'll chop more celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. And like I said, there's so many different ways to chop or slice celery. If you put it through on an angle instead of straight up and down, I haven't changed the machine. I just changed the angle that I'm running it through. Now you're making celery wow. spears for your stir fries. If you want to, if you're doing any wok cooking, 
put those teeth back down, and now with a thick slice, you can run this through on the thick slice on an angle, and you get your stir fry cuts for wok cooking. And stir fries are quick and easy to cook, they're healthy, they're good for you. Now with this machine, they're quick and easy to cut too. But I gotta show you this, you mentioned French fries. I'm gonna put it about, about a medium slice, and then I'm gonna pop those small teeth up. Guy, just for chopped onions and making French fries, wow. it's worth the price of admission Look just that. for this alone. Excellent, John, great job. We're already, oh, we go so fast on this, we're already out of time, but I appreciate it. Oh, wow. I love seeing everything that you did. Uh, appreciate you, buddy, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Um, if you wanna get blue, I got about six or seven dozen left in blue, black, plum, or teal. Everybody gets to pick a color. Also available from Kitchen HQ. This is our 10 inch cast iron fry pan with trivet. If you've never owned uh, a cast iron before, this is an opportunity to pick it up. It's half price, it's only 29 bucks. This pan will last you the rest of your life, all right? First of all, it's cast iron, but it's enameled on the outside. So you don't have to worry about it chipping or denting or scratching. Um, like I said, I've had a cast iron pan for 20 years, but the, the new cast iron pans are already pre-seasoned. They don't react with acidic foods. Uh, you can put them in the oven upwards of 500 degrees. It comes with the Beechwood Trivet. Try it, all right? Everybody should have one cast iron pan at least because when it comes to really getting a great sear on meats and uh, even on your veggies, whatever it is, if you're, if you're uh, you know, doing eggplant, things like that, no better way to get that temperature where you need it than with cast iron. I have a bunch of colors to choose from. Pick one. We'll send it out to you at half price. Customer pick, and it comes with that. Um, it comes with the Trivet as well. All right, so... Um, Another really, really cool and a brand new item is called Uniseal. I don't know about you, but, but I always seem to misplace lids or the tops of jars. You ever take the top off a can and then you don't use all the dog food or you don't use all the tomatoes or whatever it is and you're wondering, how do I reseal this? Most of us try to put a piece of plastic wrap or foil on it, which doesn't do a very good job. Um, you could still drip through and you can still smell it when it's in the refrigerator. Uniseal is a set of four universal lids. They will adapt to any size. It could be a round jar. It could be a cylindrical jar. Doesn't matter. Um, it will fit over different size lids. You're going to get four different sizes to be able to uh, really fit on anything. Um, they will fit round. They will fit square. They'll even fit tapered. You can also use them as jar openers. They're great as twist off jar openers. And uh, even a sink stopper. If you need, if you, you know, if you don't have a sink stopper in your kitchen sink or your bath, you can use this for that as well. They're easy to maintain, easy to clean. They're very flexible, so they will go anywhere. They even have a little pinch mechanism to be able to pop them off. But they're gonna keep odors from uh, getting into your refrigerator. All you do is pop them on, give them a little push. Air is removed and you're prolonging the shelf life of your food. Derek Monk, my good friend Derek, who's always coming up with great ideas. He's our culinary contributor and he's an inventor as well. Derek, good to have you back on the show, buddy. Hey guy, how you doing? I'm wondering. I appreciate hey, it, guy. This is a really good idea, bro, because you get four of these and we always have something open that we're looking to put a lid on, right? Hey, exactly, guy. And hey, I can't take the credit for this one. This is my good friend, uh, Dan Peters. He's the inventor on it. We work together and develop the product and, uh, you know, this, I think we really have a really cool product here. So like you said, everyone hates having to deal with trying to find the correct lid for where you're, where you're trying to fit on. With the Uniseal, you can take this, I mean, look how good that suction is there too, by the way. The design, the patented design is really what allows it to create almost like a vacuum seal for your containers. So you can just take it and just push it straight down. You got some fruits, anything like that, they're not gonna, they're not gonna rot as quickly. They're gonna stay fresh. Let's see here, you got a nice little four color pasta. You don't want to get all those uh, pasta, you know, the, the bugs that you get from pasta and flour and all that stuff. You can just put the unit seal just like that. It's going to seal that container. And then those are both square containers, but we got this round container here with all this water. You're just going to push down the round container and look at that guy. It just, it just, you know, fits right in the round container. So um, you can also, this one's got a bunch of bread in it. So you saw that one did have a lid on it, but the problem is, is you have all this air in that container. And see that awkward shape? No other lid's gonna fit that awkward shape. So you're just gonna take the Uniseal, and you can push it all the way down to your bread, and you're gonna remove wow. all your air from your bread, and it's not gonna mold, and it's gonna last a lot longer. And let's say, let's say, guy, let's say it doesn't fit down into the, into the container, though. You can just simply press it on top, and it's gonna hold just like a regular lid also. 
So it's, it's really a multi-use tool. And that's just the one size. We'll get to the other sizes too, so. Yeah, and you get all four sizes. We've got, we've kind of uh, displayed them out here so we can show you. Even if you want to just put a lid on your coffee, um, or it could be yeah. on a beverage, on an outdoor beverage. You ever go outside, you got a lemonade, you walk, you walk around a corner, you come back and there's like a bee or a fly sitting in your lemonade. This is a way to be able to protect your coffee and keep it hot at the same time. I mentioned canned goods. I mean, this is ideal. We got canned goods here. What about this thing? You know, a lot of these, this is that little top that kind of, you, you, you rip off the little cord and then it never really fits back on. We've got our uh, oatmeal yep. or cereals, whatever, that's nice and sealed. Look at this, we've got a big yeah. container of laundry detergent. And if you're wondering, does yeah. it stay on? <laughs> look at that. I mean, <laughs> look that, at that guy, look dude, at that string. Dude. That's, hey, that's, that's that patented design. It that really has like awesome. a really nice. Look at that. So you, yeah, I mean, it like gives you an idea of the suction that is that is created. And what I love about that, Derek, too, is that if it's a food item, you know, if it's a container of yeah. onions or if it's a little jar of garlic, that's, that's yeah. if you can keep the air out, you're keeping the odors in as well. Funny you say that, guy. I got a can of salmon here, and we just opened this thing up, and it was it was making a stink. And then yeah. we put the Uniseal in there. And like you said, see how even if it's got a jar that's got rigid, you know, inside... Uh, ridges, it still fits down and seals perfectly fine in that jar. So you get no smell of that salmon in your fridge. And this is another one too. I mean, look at, this is how people usually, I feel like cover their jars in their refrigerator. They throw some foil on, you know, everything's gonna get hard in there. It's gonna go bad. So instead of the foil, you just take your Uniseal here, push it right down and you got a perfect seal. Airtight, like a vacuum seal for your cans. I mean, it's really a really game-changing product. You know, so, Derek, I was thinking um, about one of the, you know, the worst offenders is like dog food and cat yeah. food, right? Yep. You, you open a yep. can of cat food and dog food and either they have a pop sure, top or you gotta open it up, you know, with a, with a can opener. And you're never gonna yep. put that lid on. And there's, I mean, think about it. You, dog food, you can't keep out on the counter when you're not, you know, if it's, no. if it's the moist food, it has to go in the fridge. This is a way to be able to keep everything inside, including the odors from dog food and cat food, the, the odors from a tuna can. Uh, you know, Derek was talking about salmon, whatever it is. You know, you wonder why when you open up your fridge or your freezer and you get this kind of off-putting scent. Well, it's a combination of a whole bunch of stuff kind of ripening and you can keep those scents to a minimum. You can keep your food lasting longer because obviously that what makes food age is exposure to air and the elements. This is gonna keep those on the outside. I was thinking, Derek, if you took this, even if you go on a picnic, right? And, and yeah. you need to keep, you know, you wanna eat something and then you wanna put the lid back on, but you wanna well, be able to pop like it on and off, it's great. Yeah, guy, when you're transporting with stuff, when it's liquids, foods, anything like that, they can make a mess. So let's just say you put this little Uniseal on here, now you got your turvis somewhere. You can, I mean, you can put this thing upside down and nothing's gonna come out. You just can throw it in your bag. You just don't have to worry about a lot of the messes that come with other containers. And then you're keeping everything fresh and, and you know where it's supposed to be, really. But I got some guacamole here also. Guacamole always goes bad after yeah. you're done using it in the fridge. So you can just, after you're done you know, serving your chips here, well, not bad, but hey, I'm done with it. So I'm gonna put the top on and put it in the fridge. And look at that, it creates a perfect seal there. Look at that. Or your guacamole, so you're not gonna get all that, um, you know, brownness on the top. Yeah, it really Another does a great too, job at, at saving yeah. all your different things, but I love it, like I said, even the, the smaller sizes, bring them to a picnic. Keep keep the insects exactly. out of your drinks. I mean, just there's a yeah. hundred yeah. different ways you can or, use it. It's only $19.95, you get all four. Yeah. Once again, uh, Derek, great job to you and your partner. Thanks, Appreciate guy. it, it's a great item. We'll see you again next Appreciate time. Appreciate it. All right, buddy. Thank you, guy, good all seeing right. you. See you, see buddy. You. Hey, you want to get $10 off, get a brand new HSN credit card. We'll put $10 right in your account when you're approved. You can use it for anything. I don't care. Use it, use it for, you know, the things you just saw, the things that are coming up. Uh, you can literally uh, use it for any uh, purchase that you make. And, uh, and it's a great deal. And you get the HSN credit card, which opens up a lot of doors for a lot of other great deals as well. All right. This is one of the little guys that I absolutely love. Um, Dash makes these uh, incredible little machines um, that are gonna make your life just a lot easier. And this one is phenomenal. It's called the Dash Egg Bite Maker. I produced this, uh, or presented this several times with you guys, and you always seem to love it. Um, why? Well, because it's a compact little cooker. It allows you to make a little, uh, uh, one sunny side egg. It allows you to make little egg bites. If you wanna make um, little um, cake bites, cheesecake bites, you can do all that. What you get is you get the little 
uh, little mini oven, all right? Um, there's an indicator light on top that tells you when it's ready to go. You can put a, a grilled sandwich in here and toast it really quickly. It's great, you know, for one or two people. If you want, you can utilize the little silicone cups and you can fill these with individual uh, egg mixtures. You can make four at a time. They go right inside just like that. And uh, you fill them up, you can even do little pancakes or whatever you want, you close the lid, it'll click shut, and that's it. You wait about six, seven minutes, open it back up, and everything is gonna be cooked. And what we've done over here is we've made some, we actually cut them in half like little hors d'oeuvres, so if you wanna do little quiche and things like that, you can do those. It comes with a great little recipe book. It'll give you all the instructions, it's $20. All right, you have your choice of black, you have your choice of red. If you're a person on the go and you are not eating breakfast, which is the most important meal of the day, and I'm guilty of it as well, um, you can make delicious, nutritious little treats. You make them the night before if you want. You just wrap them up and take them when you leave. It's ideal. It's $20. Not much to spend for something that is, I think, really important, which is to get a great meal uh, when you're uh, in a hurry and on your way out. The lovely and talented Kelly Diedring is standing by in her kitchen, and I know how much you love this machine, Miss Kelly. Guy, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I love this machine. Well, first of all, you and I talk about eggs a lot. How incredibly healthy they love are, eggs. right? Seven grams of protein, 70 calories. Yeah. Seven cents is about a large egg. And a lot of us are going to that coffee shop, or at least at one time we were going to that coffee shop that had the little egg bites. You all know what I'm talking about. They had the Gruyere and bacon egg bites. Well, Dash said, let's make these egg bites easy at home. So if you're somebody that's skipping breakfast, as Guy mentioned, or maybe you're doing uh, a bagel with all the carbs, or you're grabbing a granola bar, even though it has a ton of sugar, what I want you to do instead is crack your egg right into the little egg bite cup. In about five minutes, Guy, you can completely walk away from this machine. These cups are silicone, okay, so you know they're nice and naturally non-stick, which means I don't have to add any butter, any oil, any spray. And now you have these beautiful little egg bites. Look at the inside of this one. It is absolutely decadent. It looks like those sous vide egg bites that we see at that expensive coffee shop don't you think oh my gosh yeah and you know what i love kelly portion control right built-in portion control so if you are on a diet and by the way yep. i have i have the launch of the most amazing scale food scale coming up so if you are looking to lose weight it's all about what goes in you all know that mm -hmm. calories in right calories burned you all get it and i'm telling you that one of the biggest keys to losing weight is portion control uh, because you you know if you say well i can eat you know i can eat carrots yeah but you can't eat a bushel of carrots first of all it's hard to do <laughs> second of all carrots have a lot of sugar in them uh, like a lot of other fruits. So you really have to be careful with this. You get great portion control. You get these yep. wonderful little treats. And you know what's nice too, Kelly, is you can make four of these minimal yep. calories, you know, a couple of hundred calories, and you could spread them out throughout the morning so that you're not like eating a big meal and then you're hungry, you know, in an hour. You just kind of take, oh, yeah, take them with you. Yeah. And you know eggs are full of protein, right? So we talk yeah. about protein all the time. If you're somebody that goes to like a nutritionist or maybe your doctor, your physician, your primary care says pack your body with protein, right? And the reason is it keeps us full to the next meal. That protein does. So that means you snack less. So if you eat, let's say I ate all four of these egg bites. Well, two of them, first of all, are egg whites right? So I'm losing calories there, which is fantastic. Right here, we're at about 170 calories, okay? Wow. I added my onion. I can add some bacon, which would be for, uh, you know, my husband would love the bacon. How about some mushrooms? You can add anything into these. Rather than going to the coffee shop, where you only get two choices. I know they have two very popular yeah. choices. We've made those. And then you just close the lid, guys. You add a little bit of water down here. You can see I already added yeah, the water. Steam it and up. And it steams them. It's yeah. the best way to cook these little you know, eggs, but these little cups give you that portion control. You know, Kelly, you can have all four of what's in your little egg maker, or you can have a quarter of a donut. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> a quarter Perfect. of a donut. A donut is a about quarter. five to 600 calories. All right, as I'm just telling you. Or you can have all of those and you still <laughs> won't even be close. All right, so think about it. You're not gonna eat a, I mean, maybe you have the, the uh, self-control to eat a quarter of a donut. I sure as heck don't. If I take one bite <laughs> of that thing, it's going down. And that's, well, and when you think about that, if you do that 
once a day. You need thousands of calories, that is, every week. And it, this is not Absolutely. just about, it's not just about dieting. I'm just saying if you are dieting, Stay tuned for the scale, which is coming up, but this is a great way to get you started. And you know what's wonderful, Kelly, is you're not cheating yourself because these are really satisfying. Those little egg bites or little uh, quiche bites, even if you do little cheesecake bites, you're better yes. off having one little cheesecake bite than a big old slab of cheesecake. You still feel great about having a treat, but you don't feel the gluttony that goes along with it. Oh, I love that you're doing just a fried egg. Yes, you, you're so right though about the portion control. So we did a fried egg and a piece of bacon. So maybe you're going back to work and you keep this at your desk, at your office, and you would like a breakfast sandwich, but you don't want to wait in the fast food line and eat all those chemicals. You can do a fried egg, a single piece of bacon. Um, Guy, as you mentioned, I just cracked my fried egg right there and it will steam the entire egg when I close that lid. How do you like your egg? Do you like it runny? You leave the lid up. I like mine hard cooked. I leave the lid down. So not only do you have the cups, the option to make the little egg bite cups, right? It's so versatile. Dash does that really well. You can do, it becomes this little miniature panini press grill griddle. Um, and then I think you'll like this one. It's a shame you can't eat it, but I'll eat it for you. Um, we just made a grilled ham and cheese. So it's the perfect size for one sandwich. Is that not the most beautiful, golden, crispy, You better break that thing apart. Sandwich? You better open that up so I can see what's inside there. I know, you'd be cutting into part. it, and then you'd be biting it. And look, look at that cheese. Well, and, and, and Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, your cleanup is wipe it out. That's all you need to do. Wipe it out. I mean, honestly, you know, when we season pans, we keep a little oil on them anyway. Just wipe it out. When you heat it up, it cleans itself. You can always go in there with a damp towel. But it, it literally is the perfect size for a grilled sandwich, the perfect size for eggs. Even if you wanted to do a little omelet in there, you, could, you can sit there and you can make it right inside the pan. It's all nonstick. There's no yep. preheating. It heats up immediately. So it's not like you have to sit there and turn the gas on and wait for the pan to get hot. You can go right to town. Red or black, Absolutely. it's $19.95. Get it. I'm telling you, you, you gotta love it. it. If Whether you're an empty nester or maybe you're, you and your partner wake up at different times, they should be able to get up and have some eggs in the morning. Eggs, uh, if you love them, most people do, are one of the best, healthiest things you can eat. And you can do eggs yes. and so much more inside. You can do little tiny pancakes. I mean, yes, you can do, you can do right? French toast. Love it. You can do French toast. You can do pancakes. Um, you mentioned desserts, little cheesecake bites. We did little mini flans, right? So if you're somebody that's starting to entertain again, if you're having people over, you're expanding your bubble a little bit, friends and family, maybe relatives, neighbors coming on over for the 4th of July holiday, somebody's birthday gathering, you look like the Pinterest mom, grandma, aunt, uncle, whatever, because look at those perfect little flan bites, guy. Um, at the end of the day, oh, you're, you're making right me about hungry. portion control, but it's also really good for those little bite-sized appetizers. Um, I know we're wrapping up, but these are the Gruyere hey, and bacon. You know what, the same Kelly, as that coffee shop. I bet I could make little mini upside down, like pineapple upside down cakes. Right? Absolutely, you little, could. Little piece of cherry, little pineapple, then put the cake batter on top, and then bake it. No mess. Absolutely. You're gonna love these. I mean, that, I'm gonna put that in the Now That's Clever. I'm gonna put this in the Now That's Clever show. That's what I'm oh, gonna I do. Oh, I want you to. That would be great. <laughs> Kelly, that's all the time we have. We'll see you again next time, all right? I'll save you some breakfast, okay? Thank you, love. See you later. All right, if you Bye. want it, 660627. People are already ordering a lot of our ice makers. If you want to get it, it's beautiful. Look at this thing. Comes in stainless, comes in the black stainless, or it comes in red. 26 pounds of ice a day. Don't get caught without ice. You always have it, and these are portable. Take them to a party. We're getting there, right? Take them to your church thing. You always have ice. All right, stick around. We got more to come as we continue cooking in the kitchen.
It's all of our responsibility to slow the spread of the coronavirus. So follow guidance from authorities where you live and stay home unless absolutely necessary. You can still use your outdoor spaces like yards and decks. It's also okay to go for a walk or exercise outside. Wear a cloth face covering, stay at least six feet away from other people, try not to touch any surfaces, and wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. Visit coronavirus.gov for the latest information. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. All right, so we were just talking about uh, the importance of uh, not only counting calories, but portion control. And we were talking about, um, you know, eating healthy and things like that, which, you know, this, this could be, you could be a baker and you're just trying to measure out the exact amount of flour or whatever it is. Well, let me tell you, uh, we have a brand brand new item uh, coming your way next, and I am so excited about this. This is our um, Smart Heart Digital Food Scale. So what this is gonna allow you to do is ac uh, accurately, precisely measure the portions that you are eating. All right, so if you are allowed to have so many milligrams of rice or so many uh, pounds of this or so many ounces of that, whatever it is, this will measure. It also will do the tear weight subtraction, accounting for the container that you're putting it in and you can subtract that out. So you don't have to put the raw food right on it. So if you are trying to lose weight and you are allowed to have four ounces of chicken and four ounces of vegetables and four ounces of whatever, of, of some kind of a, a healthy dessert, you need to weigh it out because in the long run, those little Im Im imperfections of weighing will wind up going here or here or here, or wherever you hold weight. It's $29.95, it is brand new. We have it available on FlexPay. If you get a brand new HSN credit card, get it home for $19.95. It's top of the line from the folks at Viridian. These are the guys that do our blood pressure monitors, wrist monitors, they're an incredible company. It's easy to use. It's easy to read. I'm going to turn it on really quickly and I want you to see the big LCD backlit screen, which makes it easy. You don't have to put your reading glasses on every time you want to use it. There's a little button right up front. You just tap that button and you can see how big and easy it is to read. And then it shows you pasta, rice, pork, bacon, so all these touch controls, which allow you to do it. Flour, sugar, butter, eggs, chocolate, chicken, beef, everything is covered. I expect this scale to sell out in this airing. It's the first airing. I was very happy that they gave it to me. But, but I'm telling you, and look, and look at the size of it. You could put this thing anywhere. It's convenient, it's portable. Take it with you when you travel. The key to eating healthy is watching how much you eat, okay? That's really one of the, ask any diet doctor out there or nutritionist, and they're gonna say you need to watch it. Allison Scuddy, my friend, is standing by, and she's gonna take you on a little tour. <laughs> Allison, this is, pro I think this is the best food scale, kitchen scale, I've ever seen here at HSF. <laughs> This is, thank you so much for having me. I'm here at the Lake House this morning. And I tell you what, I don't know how many of you guys, maybe, I heard it was the quarantine 15 guy. I, I got yeah. seven. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, because we just kind of dump and go. We grab the cheese, we grab the stuff. Check this out. Right in here is the smartest thing. This is getting me back on track. I'm actually going to try the keto, which I love because you have to kind of um, really count everything. And I'm not much of a mathematician. So I like to have this at the touch of my fingers. Look, I'm going to turn this on. First of all, you'll see, and Guy was telling you how it's backlit. You can see everything perfectly. You can go between your ounces. You can go to milliliters. You can do your pounds. And you can also go in grams. So if you are a baker, I mean, it has everything that you possibly need. But let me show you. So this is a simple thing. So I'm going to make some breakfast, right? What I might do normally is grab some butter and throw it in the pan. Now, how much is this butter costing me for today? Because if I'm trying to watch, I need to make sure. Right along the top and the bottom, you'll see, are all these little choices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go right over to the choice that says butter, right here. Now you can see, look, it's gonna to toggle between. There's zero carbs in this butter, but 143 calories, no way. So what if I take off some? What if I take a little bit off of there? A 
Okay, 64 calories. I just saved myself half the calories, wow. guy, right there. Look at that. So I can take that now, put that in my pan, and start cooking. That's how you're going to save because it's just, I think that's been my culprit. You know what? I've been going, and I go, and I grab some stuff, and I put it in there, and I think oh, a little cheese, a little this and that. That extra little bit makes such a difference. And, you know, last night I was really going online, and I was doing a lot of research, and I was trying to see... What is everybody saying about these scales out there? Well, guess what? They weren't saying anything because there's not any out there like this guy. This is amazing the way this does everything that a normal scale will do, but it also will do all of the preset functions, which is huge. Yes. All right, let's turn this on, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right along here, and I'm going to go to my eggs. Now, nothing's in there yet. I'm going to crack some eggs. And I would put some eggs in here. I've kind of gotten into the habit of eating three eggs. Perhaps two is better. Now, there I am, 71 calories. Right, guys? I love, <laughs> but I love you? that you know right away how many calories. You're not guessing, at, Allison. Now, two and a half of the carb right there. 144 calories. Boom. So, That's how many is in my egg. So it's given me, it's given me calories. It's given me carbs. It's given me all the things that I yes. look for on labels when I shop are right there on the scale. All right. So here's what I'm going to tell yeah. you. There's a good chance that this could sell out. We brought in a couple of thousand, but I know because I've done scales here before. I've never done one like this yep. that has so much of the information. You know, normally when you get a scale, you have to open up the, the pamphlet and then you have to do all these conversions yourself. With this one, Allison, the, all the buttons are right on the scale itself. All the buttons are right on the scale itself. You can tear it out very easily. Now, there we are back to zero. So now, even though my, my eggs are in there, it's all starting to zero. I don't have to start a new bowl. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to go and I'm going to add in. First of all, I'm going to scroll along here and I want to go over here to milk right there. Now I'm on milk because what I want to do, this is my big one right here, guy. I'm going to add in my milk. Now look at this. Look at the carbs go. There's my calories right there, but watch this. Boom. 0.4 calories. Look at that, right there, boom. If you are doing a keto diet, there's your carb, right there, uh, you're done. So now I know, that's all I can have. I think, on my back counter here is my uh, espresso maker. Yeah. I totally blame the milk for my weight gain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, fact, like, milk doesn't have a lot of day. carbs. Milk is good. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. It does too, okay? Now look, okay, now there's my eggs. Again, I don't have to get another bowl out. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tear this out. Push the button, and then it's going to go straight to zero. Let me get it one more time here. Fingers shake it a little hey, bit. Hey, Allison. It's going to go. Yes, so, sir. So if I wanted to put bacon in there, there's a button that says pork, right? Yes, sir. There's there's one that says pork, bacon, and sausage. Oh. In fact, let's go over here. I'm going to go because I actually want to add a little. Um, wait a minute. I got to go down here. I'm going to add a little bacon. I'm going to add a little ham right okay. here. So let's tear that out. Let's see what happens when we start adding our ham. But you've told the you've told the scale it's ham, so it knows the weight. Yep. Yep. So now I got no extra carbs from that ham, but it's I got a forty extra calories, forty-four extra calories. Yeah, but that but you, you know what? That's working? your decision to make. Is it worth the forty calories? What I love is that you get instant feedback, and Allison, exactly. you know. It, the, the difference in just trimming off a little bit every day is what's going to trim off your body. All right. Very busy uh, on the phones right now, as I knew we would be. This, If you get an H10 credit card brand new today, you can get $10 off and get this for $19.95. But I love, I always, whenever I have Allison on the show, I always get excited because I know Allison always brings really, really unique, cool items that everybody could use. Even if you're not on a diet, Allison, and you're a baker, because let me tell you, you know what I did yesterday? I really did this. I, ma I made bread. It took two days for me to make oh bread. I made, the, I made the cold starter the day before. I did the bread yesterday, rolled it out five different times. And you know what I learned? First of all, it was delicious, but you know what I learned? I'm gonna buy bread at an Italian store from now on because it still wasn't as good. But I had no idea, my point, there's a point to this story. I had no idea, you know, when I was measuring the, the, the uh, flour and, and the yeast because it was asking for like millimeter, milliliters. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. So I was trying to, I went on my phone and I'm like, uh, pounds to milliliters. How much is that? I was doing all that. Right. All the information is right on, is right on the scale itself. I love this. I mean, honestly, it's just amazing. And even if it is something like that, so it's like your berries, you know, the snacks can also get yeah. you. And that's one of the things, you know, you're walking by and you're thinking, oh, I'll just have a little morsel. 
this is gonna, this is going to be funny. But you know, so they're on here. Well, first of all, my snack go to is bacon. And you wanted to talk about bacon. I want to show you something with this bacon. I cooked this bacon uh, this morning, and I want you to see this. I've got it on bacon. Look how many calories are in this piece of bacon. Fifty. That's not 50 bad. Fifty calories in one piece. Not too bad. No. Look at that. So 100 we, calories. So about 50 calories. You know, that's not as bad as I thought. So if I was going to have a BLT, but the thing is, is that now I can decide if I'm having the bacon, skip the cheese or skip the mayo. You know what yeah, I mean? You can, yeah. you can do it yourself because a lot of people are on, if you, if you're an average woman, you need about 2000 calories a day just to maintain your weight. Right. So you don't want to go over that or you'll actually gain. And it's just those little bitty pieces. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about making a salad. Salad can quickly turn into a cheeseburger yeah. hey, if you're Allison, not careful. The most caloric item on my on the Italian restaurant that I ran, the most caloric item was the Caesar salad. <laughs> it was it, because of the crazy? dressing was so heavy, and we put cheese in it. There were eggs in it. There was oil in it, and I'd be like, people would come in and order a Caesar. I'm like, you'd be better off getting a cheeseburger <laughs> if you're trying and to lose weight. Truth. Don't get our, now it was delicious, don't get me wrong, but you're probably talking a Caesar <laughs> salad that had like 2,000 calories in one salad. So go ahead, I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, it is the truth, and that's the thing. It's like, okay, so lo load up on the protein here. I have some chicken. I've only got, I've got 135 calories, but this is much better calories for you, and only 0.6 of carbs. So I can clearly have as much of the chicken on here as I'd like to have. Now, after I put that on there, Incidentally, I'm just doing this for ease for TV. This is tempered glass. You can wipe it right off. You can use cleanser. So it's very easy to keep clean. The whole thing is surface. It does come, guys, with the batteries included and a two-year warranty. So this is Viridian Healthcare. You know, we make the blood pressure monitors. We yeah. make scales. We're about precision. We're a medical company. So when you know... If you're looking at this and you're like, yeah, can I trust this scale? Because I know the price is deceiving. I Honestly, I thought there's no way it does all this. Um, it is. It does. It does all this because we care. We work with the American Heart Association, the Diabetes Foundation, and we want to make sure that you're not overdoing your cheese. You're not overdoing your different things. And the thing is, it doesn't really matter. It just can be your weight. It can just be that you're a baker because baking goes in grams. It doesn't go all the time in cups. Right. How do you do that? This is how you do it. Like, look, I just scroll across till I find cheese. There's my cheese down there. So I'm going to scroll across down here, and I'm going to go all the way over till I highlight the cheese. Now, 81 calories in that cheese. I'm going to go for a little bit more. Why not? You are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did. There you go. See? Now, I can have that much calories. But you know what? It really trips you up. What is funny is did you know that this... This is a full serving of pasta? <laughs> yeah, for a seven-year-old. <laughs> if I handed this to my husband, Al, I, if I said to Al, here, here, sweetheart, here's dinner. I know. That is a full serving. Now, Mindy actually asked me the other day, and I wanted to, she asked me, can I, do I weigh the foods when they're raw or when they're cooked? You actually can weigh the meats when they're cooked. So it goes ahead and removes the fat content. So you okay. don't have to worry about Smart. that. Smart. Yep. Now, let's add, a, let's add a little bit of cheese. The cheese is again. Now, here's another cheese. This is the feta cheese or the, um, the goat cheese. This is another one that you think is super low. And again, it's not. There's 102 calories in this cheese, just this little bit. Yeah. This is where they trick you up. So you add these things in, Guy, and it makes a huge difference. You know what? It's, the other it's, thing. It's just, it's just taking one really good tool and that gives you a lot of information. And when we're trying and struggling with our weight, we need all the help. And not only that, this is actually, I, I think people really enjoy the whole process because it stretches out the, the, the whole eating process and it really gives you accurate information. Allison, wonderful job. Very, very good Thank product. You. Lots of people ordering. Appreciate you. We'll see you again soon. Bye, Thanks, Allison. Guys. All right, everybody. Hey, listen, uh, if you want to order it, we still have some available, uh, but it is going quickly. I want to remind you, the ice maker, are we going right to it? Let's go right to it. All right, I'm going to walk over, and we're going to talk about the ice machine. Already, a ton of you have picked it up. It has over 100 five-star reviews on hsn.com. You're never going to run out of ice again if you got the improvements ice maker, all right? It's one of the best gifts you can give yourself. You're looking for something for dad? Buy him an ice maker. I'm a dad. And I love my ice maker. 
all right, because it doesn't do anything fancy. It does, it's not, you know, what it does, it gives me ice. And ice keeps you cool in summer. It's great in your frozen drinks. It's great under my shrimp cocktail. Uh, it keeps you uh, feeling good. It, it lightens the day, and a lot of us, Obviously spending time at home, entertaining at home, the ice tray's probably always empty. You can make, you ready? 26 pounds a day. That's two and a half bags of ice a day. Imagine if you went to the store every day and got two and a half bags of ice. You'd never run out of ice. You'll never run out of ice with this. When you choose, you got red, you got black, and you got stainless. Inside these machines, there, my friends, is the magic. And I love, the reason I bought it, I love pellet style ice. I love the smaller cubes. The reason it works so fast in about seven minutes is because the little stakes, imagine one of them is my finger, and this is the, the ice. It goes over the outside. It freezes it from inside, which does the job a lot more efficiently. So you get cubes quicker. You're not gonna get cubes that are four inches by four inches unless you wanna wait five days in your ice making machine or in a tray in your freezer. You will get cubes every seven minutes with this machine. It sweeps them out, puts more water in. Here it goes, watch. Sweeps them out, puts them in a tray, holds a couple of pounds of ice right there. And then it pulls from the water reservoir inside. You can use distilled water, filtered water, tap water. I have the uh, reverse osmosis, I got the little valve, I use that, put in a pitcher, pour it in, and I just let it go. Are you gonna use it every single day? Maybe, maybe not. But when you have an occasion where you need ice, all right, and the ice trays or the ice bin is empty, you're gonna be so glad that you bought this. $149.95, $10 off if you get a brand new HSN credit card. Um, they did reduced shipping on this. It's normally 16 or 17 bucks. They cut that more than half to get it home. And not only that, last thing I'll say, when you have this at your house, and people see it, you instantly become pretty cool. Literally and figuratively. You are a cool person. All right, I see my girl Rebecca waiting for me. Rebecca Wood is standing by. One of the best things I ever bought at HSN from you was my ice maker. <laughs> Welcome to our show, Rebecca. Thank you. Yes, everybody loves it. This is one that they stop me in the halls and they're like, oh my gosh, I love my ice maker. Guy, could, do you notice something? There's no drain around me. There's right. no water line. I'm able to make ice outside. Isn't that crazy? I want you to take a look at this. I've had this going for a little while. A full tray of ice in just minutes and we're outside in this hot and humid weather. So when we say you can have ice anywhere, we mean ice anywhere and the best tasting ice you've ever tasted because as you said, it's just flash freezes there in these stainless steel prongs. So that's why you see that we have this little indentation there. Now, every single thing about this ice maker was thought through and designed for a reason. That little indentation, not only is it there because it's made by those stainless steel prongs, it also gives you more surface of the ice. So it's gonna cool down your drinks faster, but it's still ice, which means it's a big round, I can't say cube, it's a bullet, it's going to melt slowly. So you are absolutely going to love it for your mixed drinks, for your blended drinks, for your water, for your lemonade, all summer long. And then comes all the holidays and all the get togethers. You're gonna love it just as much then. All right, if you want the black, I got about 180 left. If you want this one, okay? I'm okay on the other two, but for me, and, and you know, I come from a, uh, a catering restaurant. Well, I've yeah. done a lot of different things, but I spent most of my time <laughs> in the restaurant business. And you know, when you go to a fancy hotel or you go to a restaurant, what kind of cubes do you see? You see cubes like this because restaurants can't wait eight, six, eight hours for cubes to get cold. They need them to come out quickly. <laughs> And same with a hotel. How many hotels you go to when the ice machine's empty? Because even those, they can't keep up. So the reason, and you have two sizes. You can do the larger or the medium-sized mm -hmm. cube. It's up to you. The larger take a little longer to freeze. But the reason that all those places I talked about do compact ice is because it freezes quicker. It makes more sense. Exactly. I like it because it's more chewy. Um, I also love it because the, <laughs> the ice cubes that come out, I know you're not supposed to chew ice, yeah, whatever. Um, no. <laughs> but it gives me something to do. But uh, I will tell you, um, you're not gonna get that big giant clunk of cube hitting you in the tooth when you spill your glass. So if you ever do that, 
Do you ever try to get that last <laughs> bit of your drink and that cube cracks you in the tooth or hits you in right the lip? <laughs> These are not going to hurt you. They're more user-friendly. And there's a very famous chain. I won't give them a plug because they ain't doing nothing for me for free. So, but they make a thing <laughs> called pellet ice, which is really small. It's my favorite ice. It's almost like a frozen drink. This is what reminds me of that. And I, yeah. whenever I'm drinking ice, I always use these cubes over the cubes in the freezer. Cubes in the freezer I'll use for other things, but you know, for cooling down, you know, if I use them in my cooler and stuff, these are consumable. These are really, really good tasting. They're light. Um, you put these in with fruit, and I know you're gonna, you may do that demo. It actually looks like there's milk putting uh, into it. It froths up like that, but I love yeah, it. it. It's does. only $49 on FlexPay to get it home. You can uh, try it out for 30 days. Make an ice, hear it? Hear the machine? It's hear actually it's pretty so quiet. Easy. But you can hear it when it's making ice. Anyway, back to you, Rebecca. Keep going. Well, what I really want to show you is just how simple it is. Because when it comes to you, it's going to come to you in a box, of course. You pull it out. You plug it in. That is the only thing you have to do. No assembly. No filters to worry about. No maintenance is required. All you're going to do is remove the tray. Oh, here comes a tray of ice right now. <laughs> Before I show you that, this is what we've been looking at. Those stainless steel prongs flash freeze it. That's why it tastes so good. Less impurities frozen into the ice. Not like this where they taste funky. You get funky tasting ice in your yeah. freezer. Now it's gonna pop it into, right there, into the um, little tray here that holds two and a half uh, pounds of ice, and it's gonna then go back and make your next tray. But all you have to do to get it started is pour water into the little reservoir we have there. It holds about a gallon, which means you go and enjoy the party. You don't even have to worry about it. You shut the door, has a little peekaboo window you see there, and you turn on. That's all you have to do. Love Turn it. on and select if you want small ice or large ice. It's That's like it. it's like the Roomba of ice makers. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a, I love you heard that. it here first. It's like the <laughs> because well because it's a, normally it's a job that you have to do or you have to babysit. And let me tell you this too and I mentioned this the last time Rebecca and I were hanging out together. Mm -hmm. it costs you about 175 to 200 dollars to replace your ice maker. The average person replaces their ice maker every 2 years. Why? An ice maker lives in the Antarctic, okay, and it's got its machinery. That's why you ever watch that show, The Gold Miners up in up in the uh, up in the north? <laughs> What's always breaking down? All their machinery because it's in the cold. This doesn't work like that. All the the, the, mach the machinery is outside. It's not in a freezer. It freezes the ice and then mm -hmm. it dumps it to a separate tray. So it's sanitary. To me, um, I mean, when you when you eat ice out of an ice maker. Like I said, I don't mind using the ice in my machine and my in my free freezer for keeping things cold. But if you're consuming ice, this is the ice that you want, all right? Because you can yep. control the water that goes in, you can control the environment that it's in. It's not sitting next to a bag of frozen carrots from 2016 <laughs> or a wrapped piece of sauce. So yesterday, I went to the store. I made I made sauce and sausage, but I didn't want to use all the sausage, so I wrapped the sausage and it's in the freezer about six inches from the ice tray. I don't want to eat my ice and all of a sudden be like, you know, this pita colada has a subtle hint of pork. <laughs> Nobody wants that. Mm, what do I taste? Yeah, what am I tasting? This what keeps it tasting? clean, it keeps it separate. And even if it's just using it to support your other machine, like you know, I, I, I mean, we're not, we're not partying a lot right now, but I have yeah. partied with that lady on the screen right there. And let me tell you, <laughs> we go through some ice, don't we, girl? We go through some you ice. Do. We go and who is, oh, you always have to call somebody or send somebody out to grab ice because guess what? You're not going to wait for your refrigerator ice maker to make ice because that takes three and a half hours for a tray of ice. You're certainly not going to wait for this because this takes six hours just for what, That's 16 ice cubes? Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> but people still have to use these in like yeah. assisted livings, dorms, My mother has condos. one in her apartment. That's what my mom has, no right. ice machine. She's got to actually use trays. It's an old fridge. Well, my, next Mother's Day, you know what to get her. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I know, I didn't but, think about that. But She'd here, love it. She would love it because that is going to take you, this is going to take you six hours, your refrigerator, ice maker, three and a half, or seven minutes. It's a no-brainer. You run yeah. out of ice at a party, in seven minutes, you're going to have a full tray again. All right, we got about, we're going to put our clock up in a minute. We got about four minutes or so left. If you want to get one of these, I have them available in three colors only. These are the three colors remaining. Um, this one here is red, which is the best color, I think, of the three. I like this one too. Um, the stainless, if you got stainless appliances, whatever. But remember, this goes wherever you want it to go. It doesn't need to be in the kitchen. Bring this out on the deck. 
and just have it making ice all day, right? You'll never have yeah. to go inside. When you're iced tea, which always melts the ice before you finish the tea, go inside, lift it up, or, or stay outside, lift it up, grab the ice, put some more in your drink, close it and let it make more ice. I mean, and, and there's no, you know, they, they could have over fancied this and had a program this. I mean, you don't have to do anything. You pour the water in after you plug it in. You decide what size cube you want. There's a little button on top. And you just hit the button and it starts making That's ice. It. How quick before I can expect ice, Rebecca, tell everybody. Seven minutes. So when you wake up in the morning, if you want that iced coffee, you turn it on and before your coffee is done, you're gonna have a full tray of ice. You can see I'm out by the pool here and I'm able to make ice poolside because all you need is a standard outlet. The other thing I wanna mention, this is by improvements and what we like to do is improve upon problems we all have. Who hasn't run out of ice? Well, now you can have ice in seven minutes, but we also like to improve upon our own products. And one of the things we've done is made sure that it's portable. This is our lightest one, our smallest footprint yet. So take it to your friends' parties. Take it tailgating. I use this when the uh, hurricane hit because I have an adapter in my car. I was able to make ice in my car. And the other thing we've improved upon, you were talking about the bullet ice, the way it's shaped. We did that for a reason. We did that because now even those small water bottles with a tiny little opening, you could never get a square ice cube into that. Now this is gonna fit into all of those water bottles. So you can have ice and have your water with you all day long. Here go, I just got ice, look, here it goes. I don't know if you can catch inside <laughs> there. Ready? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I don't it's know why fun. that is so satisfying to me. It's almost like the, it's the birth of ice. It makes me feel good. Now I can hear it. Listen, hear it loading up. It's filling up again to make more ice. All right. This, this doesn't do anything else but make ice. All right. There's a lot of machines that you buy them because they do eight different things. That just means eight different things can go wrong. <laughs> what I like about this is, right, with like your, like your refrigerator. Oh, I've got a water filter on mine. I've got an ice maker. I have a keep cold compartment. I have a, those are all things that could go wrong. This will work for you every single day, yeah. all right? And remember, it's not in a freezer, so the mechanics are not being put through that torture. It is kept outside. <laughs> we get, we, I, I would love to know how many people that own RVs buy these, because man, if you got an RV, you probably don't have an ice maker unless you got one of those fancy RVs. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna buy a trailer for $500,000. No, like a $500,000 no. to buy a house. <laughs> But if you do have right? one, no, if you, I'm teasing everyone. If you do have one, good for you. But if you don't, most of us, you know, if you get a 20 or 30 foot trailer, you know, it's got trays in there, you know, the, or if it's an ice maker, it's teeny tiny and it's not producing a lot of ice. So we get a lot of people that, that have uh, mobile homes or that um, have RVs or even a boat, you know, that's got an outlet or you can buy an adapter for it. And then you can make ice anywhere you go. Bring it to your church anywhere. thing. When, when churches are, 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 I don't even know if churches... I'm like, look, I'm asking Eddie if the churches have reopened yet. I, I, they, I don't even know, but, but when you start going to church functions or picnics, you can bring your own ice, right? If you're going to a cookout yep. or, uh, you know, picnics are great. Or even if you're going to, or maybe you're, you're one of those people that works, you know, you go to a fair and you, and you want to make ice at the fair. You can do this without having to rent, you know, for $500 a day, a big industrial ice machine. You own your own. We got about a minute left. I'm gonna hand it back to Rebecca to kind of wrap things up, but get it. I have it in black, I have it in red, and I have it in stainless. 26 pounds a day, Rebecca, <laughs> man. It's amazing, and I also wanna tell you the little things that are gonna make your life better as a hostess too. It does even come with a scoop, so you can set the scoop there, and people can serve themselves. I love that I don't have to bother the hostess. Nobody has to bother me. They can serve themselves. It tells you when you, when this tray is full, because when this tray is full, put it into a cooler, put it into the freezer, whatever you want, and then it will go back to making ice. And it tells you when the water's out, which means all you have to do then is go in and pour water, any kind of water. And once you do that, it's gonna go back and make that ice. So I love that it tells you right where it is in the process. And that peek of a window, like you said, when the people come over and they see this ice maker, you automatically become cool. Totally. You really are. <laughs> I'm looking at you, you're yeah, the, you're, you always are kind of cool. But you look at you, you're like, I know I can always count <laughs> on you. I can count on you for being lovely and I can count on you for always having ice. 
Thank in. you, sweetheart. I miss you so much. <laughs> miss you too, Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you, darling. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. If you want you to soon. order it, it's 606 780. <laughs> 30 days to try it out. Uh, reduced shipping and handling. Flex pay of less than $50. Everybody needs ice. You too. All right, we're going to step away. We come back. I've got an hour of tech talk featuring a super cool uh, brand new computer. Stick around.